Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and this video is to tell you how you can really make something beautiful out of your Android home screen like the ones you're seeing right now. You will primarily need two apps to do this, Nova Launcher and the Zuper widget. You can jump ahead towards the end of the video to understand how to use them. For now, I'm just going to begin with the five really stunning Android home screen setups. The first one is called Ocean View. It's really refreshing, colorful, vibrant, and the play of color gradients in the icons really goes well with everything else that's going on. The widget Zuper on the top is really the icing. It goes beautifully with the entire design and each icon does exactly what it's meant to do. So the last one is like, for example, a lock screen and it does that. The wallpaper is available for download in the link in the description below. It's really high resolution packed with a lot of detail. The icon pack used is Worlds and it's got a great collection of really vibrant icons. The widget used at the center is the Fox Zuper widget. Uh, you can download the pack and you know, if you go into Fox, uh, scroll down, I think you can see it right there, which is Fox Zuper 23. Uh, the widget on top is from the Ghosty Zuper pack and it is widget 19 at the top and the one at the complete bottom uh, is widget 5. The second one is called Neon Fox and you can see why. It's really dark but with this neon glow in its wallpaper as well as the icon pack. The best thing about this setup is really the icon pack. It adds so much punch to your overall experience and if you have a Samsung AMOLED display then this is a must have icon pack on your smartphone. It's called uh, Grabby Spin or Grabby Spin, however you might want to pronounce it. And you can see just how beautiful, vivid and purely stunning the color gradients are. They're super vibrant, they're bright, uh, they look beautiful on pure black backgrounds and hence, you know, I said an AMOLED display. Uh, the icons stand out and if you do have that AMOLED screen, I mean, it's just going to pop, you know. The widget on top is uh, from Ghosty Super Pack again, and even this one has a really bright gradient to it that stands out. Uh, you can, you know, add it to your home screen from the Ghosty Widget Pack, and it is widget 31. I call the third one Dark Forest, and seems like a very nicely balanced home screen setup containing the date and time, system stats, weather info, as well as your favorite and most frequently used apps. The rounded icons go really well with the circular time-lapse picture of the stars in the background. I really like the icon pack because of its minimalist design. Uh, they're simple, long shadowed, and the contrasts are just perfect. It's called Rondo, and it contains more than 3,500 customized icons, which I'm pretty sure uh, would take care of all your icon needs. And again, they're very vibrant, they have an inherent fun tonality to its design and appeal, uh, you know, making your app screen look really happening, I think. The Zuper widget that I'm using on the home screen is Ghosty again, so I really suggest you buy this widget pack because, you know, I'm, I've been using it everywhere. You can scroll to look for it and I think it's widget 7. Uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, I just removed the sparkle at the top of Saturday on the top of Saturday. Uh, and then the information widget that you see at the bottom on the home screen is widget 16 in the Ghosty widget pack. So yeah, you can these, you know, you can use these two. Here is the wallpaper uh, I used and uh, again, very high resolution. So go ahead and download it from the link in the description below. Coming up next is the Ridge and thanks to the Ridge in the background that really made me want to name it like that. It is one of those really high contrast home screen setups where the icons stand out very well against the background and even the widget is strong and bold. The widget I've used is Unity 3 uh, widget pack and the link is obviously in the description below. So if I'm not wrong, it's widget number 10 uh, that I have used and customized a bit to make it black. The icon pack used is flat white and it's available for download for free. Basically all flat white icons that look really good against busy background wallpapers, they stand out very easily and they look really, really simple. The last one is called Sad Day and that's just because I couldn't really think of a better name for this one uh, but I think it looks really classy, very elegant and sophisticated despite the use of a very casual font for the uh, central widget. But you can see it looks fabulous, you know, the icon pack is amazing, the, uh, the way your name appears with the name. Uh, you can get the wallpaper from Vibrant Zuper Pack. You'll have to download Vibrant from the Play Store. The only way to get this wallpaper, I couldn't, could not download it and hence it's not there to download, but install it and you can set it up from here. The icon pack is really the star of this entire thing, Moonrise icon pack. Beautiful, beautiful icon pack. I think it's one of my favorite, the dark. Um, they're still vibrant. They've got this really nice style to it. And I think uh, you can see it for yourself. So high resolution, very rich. Uh, the widget that I've used here, uh, you can get that from uh, Parrot Zuper Packs. If you just look for Parrot in the Play Store, you can get that over there. Go into the section and it's ZW07. 
Now, for those who are new to, uh, you know, using Nova Launcher or who want to know what setup I've been using for all of these home screen setups, it's pretty simple. Go into Nova settings. In desktop, you'll have to change your grid to um, eight by six and ensure that you have your subgrid positioning on. With an icon layout, just make sure that your icon size is set to 115% and icon labels are switched off. Width padding and height padding does not need to be changed. Um, yeah, and uh, your persistent search bar is off. I think everything else can remain as it is. Yeah. Now let's go back and go into app and widget drawers. In drawer app grid, I have it set to six by five, but this could be pretty much anything you like. So no issues there. Just make sure that card background is switched off. This is important. Your background should be the fourth, which is the black color, set at 30% transparency. This is, this is important. And um, just make sure that your drawer style is set to vertical. Dock, just keep it off. You know, that's, that's the bit that's gonna really make it look neat and clean. In folders, uh, grid preview, folder background should be zero. And backdrop, the, uh, the background color should be again black, but transparency set to 50. Okay, and uh, look and feel is probably where you're gonna be, you know, going to change your icon theme. So all the icons that I've talked about, this is where you need to go and change your icon theme. This is how you set your icon. So you can look at the other settings that I have here, just for your sake. And one last setting that's important is go into night mode and ensure that it's off for all of these. Yeah, and notification badges should also be set to off. Otherwise it just, I mean, this anyway happens if you have the pro version. So yeah, but anyway, switch it off. Now, um, for those who have not used Zuper widget, it's pretty simple. Just uh, go and look for Zuper widget in your widget section. Uh, long tap, drag it to your home screen and just make sure that you resize it over here and resize it all the way, like, you know, at least, uh, like it should take the complete width and probably two or three rows uh, of your uh, display. So I'm not gonna get into why I'm asking you to do, to, to do that, but just, just do it. And then this is where you go ahead and choose, um, you know, the, uh, the widget that I keep talking about in all the videos. So let's say you select, uh, um, you know, Parrot, for example, you will actually see all the Parrot widgets that come with the Parrot widget pack. All of them would be laid out over here. You just have to tap on the one that you like and, um, and that's it. It's, it's set. So let's say, you know, you look for a time. So this is something that we use in the black and white home screen setup. Yeah, there you go. If you want to make changes, you can go into layout and you can make changes to each and every individual element that's there on this widget, right? So let's say six is something the way it's written. I want to change that. You could go ahead and make changes to the font, to the shadow, to the color, the gradient, all of that can be done. So it's really simple that way. Uh, you, you, you can increase the size and uh, yeah, you know, you could, you could change all of those things from here and you can make that change to each and every individual element that's there in this widget. So that's how this, this Zuper widget works. So thank you a lot for watching this guys. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed all of these Android setups. Do let me know your favorite ones. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Thank you guys.